making the gameplay the best it's been in franchise history. With that, I'm going to take you through the basic controls as well as highlight a few new additions. Let's start with basic movement. Left stick moves your superstar around the ring. Use L1 to enter and exit the ring. You can tap it to climb onto the apron, or hold L1 to exit straight to ringside. You can run by holding L2, but be aware this does consume stamina. Press square to perform a strike. Repeating strikes will form a strike combo. Perform a strong strike by pressing and holding the strike button. Most attacks can be modified by pressing a direction with the left stick. This is true for strikes and strong strikes. To do a grapple, press X and push a direction on the left stick. You can press and hold X for a strong grapple. You can also press X without a direction and you'll hold your opponent in front face lock. From here you can strike or grapple your opponent, or you can drag them by holding R2. Press strike or grapple while running at your opponent to do a running attack. You can perform diving attacks from the top rope or the middle rope. To climb the middle rope, stand near the corner and press the L1 button. Running towards the corner allows you to climb to the top rope. Once you're in position, press square to perform a diving attack. You can do an Irish whip by tapping circle and directing your opponent with the left stick. Whipped opponents will rebound off the ropes, setting you up to perform a rebound strike or grapple. You can also throw your opponent out of the ring by pressing and holding circle. You may have noticed those icons appearing over your head. Those are reversal prompts. To counter an opponent's attack, press R2 while the reversal prompt is showing. You'll avoid taking damage and often leave your opponent in a vulnerable position. Keep in mind, this is going to spend a reversal slot. If you run out of slots, you're going to have to wait for them to recharge before you can perform another reversal. Some moves have two reversal prompts, a normal reversal, highlighted in green, and a major reversal, highlighted in orange. If you pull off a major reversal, your opponent's temporarily debuffed, and they'll be unable to reverse your attacks for a period of time. However, major reversals require two reversal slots to perform. The taunt system got a big revamp this year. You can now express yourself from a bunch of different positions, standing, apron, corner, top rope, and middle rope. Whatever position you're at, there are three types of taunts you can do, each with their own effect. Press D-pad up to do a wake-up taunt. This will cause your downed opponent to rise to their feet. Great for doing diving attacks. D-pad right is for opponent taunts. This will give you a damage buff, making your attacks more powerful for a period of time. Finally, D-pad left is a crowd taunt. This boosts how much momentum you get from attacks. Every time you do an attack or a reversal, you're building up momentum. When you reach 100% momentum, you unlock your superstar's signature move, and 150% unlocks a finisher. To perform one of these, press triangle when you're prompting. Because every superstar is different, you'll want to know what positions your signatures and finishers can be performed from. You can always check this out in the pause menu, under special moves. These moves are very powerful. They make it much easier to pin or submit your opponent. Once you pulled off a finisher, it's the perfect time to try and pin your opponent. When your opponent's in a grounded state, press circle to go for the pin. If you're on the receiving end of a pin, press X to stop the meter in the target zone to kick out. Another way to finish your opponent is to make them tap out using a submission. There are three submission types, each more powerful than the last. Normal, Signature, and Finisher submissions. Do a normal submission by pressing and holding X while in front face lock or while standing over your downed opponent. Normal submissions are the weakest and have the least chance of success, but they're pretty helpful for wearing down a specific limb or body part of your opponent. Signature and finisher submissions are both executed by pressing triangle when you're prompted. These submissions are more powerful and significantly increase your chance of making your opponent tap. This year, we're excited to give players the ability to toggle between two different submission mechanics. In the first mechanic, you use the right stick to move your slider around the circle. As the attacker, you want to move your red slider to overlap the defender's blue slider. If the circle fills completely red, the attacker wins and submits the defender. If the circle fills blue, the defender escapes the submission hold. Press L2 to give your slider a speed boost. Be careful, this consumes stamina as well as make your slider more difficult to control. If you see the glowing orb, make sure to grab it to increase your chance of success. The second mechanic is entirely button based. Rapidly press the button that's shown on screen, but you'll have to react quickly because the button will change. The attacker wins if the meter fills red, and the defender escapes if the meter fills blue. Thanks for watching. If you ever need a quick reference during gameplay, the controls can be found in the pause menu. Check back here for future videos where we'll go over the more advanced controls for WWE 2K17.